Imagine LeBron James, the modern-day basketball titan transported back in time to the rough and rugged era of the 1990s NBA. What if this athletic marvel, with his versatility and unmatched basketball IQ, stepped onto the court alongside legends like Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, and Larry Bird? Brace yourselves as we dive into the compelling reasons why LeBron James would have unquestionably dominated the 1990s NBA. Today, we embark on a journey through time, exploring the hypothetical scenario of one of the greatest players of our generation conquering an era that has been hailed as the golden age of basketball. We're about to delve into the captivating notion of LeBron James, a 21st century phenomenon setting foot in the gritty battlegrounds of the 1990s NBA. So, without any further ado, let's get right into it. Can you imagine how electrifying it would have been to see LeBron James in action during the 1990s NBA era? Let's dive into the intriguing question, could LeBron James have thrived in the 1990s like he has in the modern era? We firmly believe he could, and we'll explain why in a way that captures your imagination. First, let's take a qualitative perspective. In the 90s, the NBA was all about physicality, mid-range shots, and post-play. And when you think about LeBron James, particularly his Miami Heat days, you can't help but see how perfectly he would fit into that style of play. His strength, athleticism, and versatility would have made him a force to be reckoned with in the paint and beyond. But let's not just rely on imagination. Let's dive into the numbers and take a quantitative perspective. By examining a few key statistics, we can get a clearer understanding of LeBron's potential impact in the 90s. If LeBron James had played in the 90s, he would have undoubtedly become an even more formidable player, both physically and in terms of his overall game. The physicality of that era would have suited him well, allowing him to excel in a different way. But let's not forget that even in today's game, LeBron has faced his fair share of physical challenges. While it may be true that the league has become somewhat softer over the years, it was still highly physical when he first entered the scene. Just think back to the tough Detroit Pistons team that won the NBA championship in 2004. And even during his time with the Miami Heat in the 2000s, they were known for their feisty style of play. On the flip side, you could argue that players are still allowed to play LeBron physically today. Although the frequency of such incidents has reduced due to stricter officiating and penalties for hard fouls, opponents can still dish out some punishment. However, despite all the physicality he has faced, LeBron has consistently proven himself as the best player in the league. It's also worth considering that his unique combination of height, weight, and muscle structure and skill set would have made him a true unicorn in the 90s. Given that the game was played closer to the rim and with more physicality, his special attributes would have been even more advantageous than they are today. Moreover, the rules of the game, coupled with LeBron's ability to play from almost any position, would have allowed him to dish out punishment just as effectively as he would have received it. Of course, we can't overlook the presence of the legendary Michael Jordan, but the prospect of a LeBron-Jordan matchup would have been thrilling to witness. We can only imagine the epic battles they would have engaged in on the court. That being said, it's important to note that LeBron's dominance wouldn't have been uncontested. Just as we have Kevin Durant today, whose game comes close to rivaling LeBron's dominance, the 90s might have also seen another player capable of challenging LeBron's supremacy. Let's dig into the numbers and find some compelling statistics to support our argument. We'll focus on points per 100 possessions, effective field goal percentage, 3-point percentage, and a few additional supporting stats. When comparing these numbers, we have a few options. One approach is to compare against the league average per player, but for our purposes, let's compare LeBron James to his contemporary and arguably the greatest player of that era, Michael Jordan. In the 90s, Jordan averaged an impressive 40.97 points per 100 possessions. Comparatively, LeBron James has a career average of 36.6 points per game and 37.4% per 100 possessions during his time with the Miami Heat. If LeBron had played in the 90s, it's reasonable to assume that he would have maintained a similar scoring output, taking into account the era's style of play and LeBron's physical attributes during his Miami Heat days. Moving on to assists, LeBron has averaged 10 assists per 100 possessions throughout his career, while Jordan averaged 6.8. The difference of over 3 additional assists per 100 possessions by LeBron accounts for the points that LeBron creates for his teammates, making a significant impact on the scoring perspective and overall team success. Next, let's consider effective field goal percentage, which takes into account the value of 3-pointers compared to 2-pointers. 
In the 90s, Jordan had an effective field goal percentage of 51.03%. LeBron, on the other hand, has maintained an effective field goal percentage of 54.2% throughout his career and an impressive 57.7% during his Miami Heat years or his hypothetical 90s body type years. This indicates that LeBron would have been an efficient scorer in the 90s, adapting his game to the offensive philosophy of that era. Lastly, three-point shooting is an important factor to consider. While the 90s era didn't emphasize the three-pointer as much, it was still a weapon for Jordan. He shot the three-ball at a rate of 35.61% during that decade. LeBron has a career three-point average of 34.4%, with his best season being a remarkable 40.6% during his Miami Heat tenure. This shows that LeBron would have been a threat from beyond the arc in the 90s, capitalizing on the three-point opportunities that were available. So, what do these statistics tell us? They indicate that LeBron James is statistically comparable to Jordan in that era, and perhaps even more physically gifted. Both players possessed exceptional athleticism, but LeBron's height of 6 foot 8 inches and his ability to carry 270 pounds athletically sets him apart. Taking a qualitative, quantitative, and overall perspective, the evidence points to one conclusion. LeBron James would have dominated or been just as dominant as he has been in the modern era, even if he had played in the 1990s. The numbers support the notion that LeBron's skill, versatility, and physical attributes would have translated well to the style of play and demands of that era. Now, let's take a closer look at the projected per-game stats for LeBron James if he had played in the 1990s. 28.9 points, 6.2 rebounds, 9.7 assists, 2.1 steals, and 0.9 blocks on 48.9% shooting. If LeBron had played in the 90s, he would have been the Magic Johnson of his era, a masterful playmaker, potentially averaging career-high assists and possibly even recording a double-double consistently. While we believe he would have challenged Jordan for scoring titles, nobody could score quite like Jordan. Additionally, LeBron might not have been able to dominate the boards as easily, considering the abundance of talented big men occupying the paint. The term stretch four wasn't as prevalent back then. Let's also not forget that the 90s featured more physical enforcers on the court. Would LeBron have been able to accumulate points and rebounds as effortlessly against defenders who aimed to inflict pain? One underrated aspect of Jordan's scoring ability was his ability to elude defenders who sought to shut him down. It's uncertain if LeBron could have achieved the same level of elusiveness in that era. However, we are confident that LeBron would have been a strong second in command, consistently among the top players of the 1990s. Here's our projected top 5 players of the 1990s. David Robinson, Carl Malone, Hakeem Olajuwon, LeBron James, Michael Jordan. Of course, there are other basketball legends and fans who believe that LeBron would have dominated in any era. This debate is never ending and adds to the excitement and passion of discussing the greatness of different players across different eras. And there you have it, the hypothetical journey of LeBron James in the 1990s NBA era. It's fascinating to imagine how he would have fared against the physicality and unique challenges of that time. Would he have dominated or stood among the greats? The debate continues. What are your thoughts? How do you think LeBron James would have fared in the 1990s? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more exciting basketball content, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thank you for watching, and until next time.